क्लास टेन मैथमेटिक्स स्पेशल टेस्ट पेपर जनवरी 2025 फ्रॉम हैदराबाद डिस्ट्रिक्ट तेलंगाना सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन पार्ट बी विच कैरीज लाइक 20 क्वेश्चंस ईच क्वेश्चंस कैरी लाइक वन मार्क सो हियर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स पावर जीरो इन द पॉलिनोमल पी ऑफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स माइनस टू सी एक्स पावर जीरो इज नथिंग बट कॉन्स्टेंट एक्स पावर जीरो वैल्यू इज वन सो इट्स अ कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म दे आर आस्किंग द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म सो हियर द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज माइनस टू सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज डी नेक्स्ट आल्फा बीटा आर द जीरो ऑफ द पॉलिनोमिन द पॉलिनोमिन इज हियर एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस सेवन एक्स प्लस के वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बिकॉज सी अल्फा बीटा इज अल्फा एंड बीटा आर द जीरो देखिए अल्फा माइनस बीटा सो बिफोर दट ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी एंड आई नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के के इज इन प्लेस ऑफ सी ए इज हियर वन बी इज सेवन सी इज के सो आई नीड टू फाइंड के so i'll do product of the zeros i'll get c by a so alpha into beta is k by 1 so to find k i need the value of alpha and beta so here alpha plus beta sum of the zeros is minus b by a alpha plus beta i'll find alpha plus beta which is minus 7 by 1 so alpha plus beta is माइनस सेवन नाउ देखिए अल्फा माइनस बीटा इज वन आई विल एलिमिनेट दिस टू इक्वेशन आई गेट अल्फा एंड बीटा देन एल फाइंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द जीरो एड बोथ द इक्वेशन सो टू अल्फा इज माइनस सिक्स अल्फा इज माइनस सिक्स बाई टू अल्फा इज माइनस थ्री अल्फा प्लस बीटा इज माइनस सेवन माइनस थ्री प्लस बीटा is minus 7 so beta is minus 7 plus 3 beta value is minus 4 so to find k here to find k alpha into beta is k alpha is minus 3 beta is minus 4 so k is 12 correct option is c next question Sum of the zeros of the polynomial. Sum of the zeros of the polynomial, but here see it's a cubic polynomial. Here, x cube minus two x square plus three x minus four. So standard cubic polynomial is a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus t. So if you compare the values, a is one, b is minus two, c is three. D is minus four. Sum of the zeros. So sum of the zeros is nothing but alpha plus beta plus gamma minus b by a minus here b is again minus two. A is one. So minus into minus plus two. So the correct option is A. If a positive number is fifty six less than its square, then the number is. So here. I'll consider let the number be x. Positive number is fifty six less than its square. So here x square minus fifty six. So if I write a equation here, so x square minus x minus fifty six equals zero. Now if I factorize x square minus eight x because fifty six factors seven times eight, I'll get one. Here I'll write minus eight x plus seven x minus fifty six equals zero. In the first two terms, if I'll take x common, I'll get x minus eight plus seven times x minus eight. X minus eight, if I'll take common again, x plus seven. X minus eight equals zero. X plus seven equals zero. x equals eight, 
x equals minus 7. Answer is plus 8. Actually, both are the answer, but clearly they mention positive number. So, answer is 8. Correct option is C. Product of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial. Product of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial. See, alpha into beta is C by A. Here, if you will compare the standard equation stand, with standard equation, A x square plus B x plus C. A value is 4, B is 0, C is minus 1. Because the coefficient of x is B, there is no x linear term in this, so B is 0. So, now, alpha, beta, C value is minus 1, A is 4. Product of the zeros is minus 1 by 4. Correct option is D. Next one. The discriminant. The discriminant x square discriminant of x square minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Again compare with the standard quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c. A value is 1, b is minus 5, c is 6. b square minus 4ac minus 5 whole square. Minus 4 into 1 into 6. 25 minus 24, which is 1. Correct option is A. Next question. Sum of 10 whole numbers. See, whole number starts from 0. Here, 0, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, one second, I'll write. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the 10 whole numbers. So, now if I use sum of n terms formula, because I know the last term, I know the first term, n by 2 into a plus l n is 10 numbers, 10 by 2, 0 plus 9, 5 times 9, which is nothing but 45. So, the sum of 10 whole numbers is 45. Correct option is C. Next question. Geometric, in the geometric progression, common ratio is, common ratio is, the formula is a2 by a1. So, here this is the first term, second term, third term. So, second term is 50, first term is 100. So, it is 1 by 2. Correct option is B. Next question. 777 is an arithmetic progression, geometric progression or both A and B. See, condition for checking like arithmetic progression a2 minus a1 should be equal to a3 minus a2. And for geometric progression, a2 by a1 should be equal to a3 by a2. Here 7 minus 7, 7 minus 7. So it is in AP. 7 by 7, 7 by 7. It is in GP. It's a constant geometric progression. Constant geometric progression. And here Common a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2. So, it is in AP. a2 by a1 equals a3 by a2. So, it is in GP. Correct option is C. The number of two-digit numbers which are divisible by 20. See, two-digit number starts from like 10 to 99. The numbers which are divisible by 20, the first number will be like 20, 40, 60, 80. So, there are like 4 numbers. So, correct option is here A. Next question. The probability of a sure event is 1. Means the certain event which is going to happen for sure. So, correct option is B. Number of secants can be drawn to a circle through a point inside. See, 
number of secants from a point inside you can take point here so from here how many secants you can draw means infinite secants you can draw because the secant is nothing but a line which intersects the circle in this way so answer is infinite next lateral surface area of a cube is 324 so let's say is 324 cm square so ls of a cube is 4a square is 324 a square is 324 by 4 a square is 4 times 1 4 times 8 32 1 81 so a is under root 81 a value is 9 9 cm correct option is c the angle between radius of a circle and tangent see angle between radius and tangent is 90 degrees so correct option is d probability of an event so probability of an event plus probability of a not event is always one so probability of an event is 0.234 plus probability of a not event is 1 probability of a not event is 1 minus 0.234 so probability of a not event is 1 minus 0.234 so here 10 minus 4 6 yeah it will be 9 9 minus 3 6 here again 9 9 minus 2 7 so 0.766 so correct option is d 10 minus 4 9 minus 3 9 minus 2 fine now so our answer is 0.766 correct option is d next one length breadth and height of a cuboid are given then total surface area see total surface area of cuboid is 2 into lb plus bh plus hl so 2 times length is 8 breadth is 4 4 times 6 6 times 8 8 eight times 4 32 4 times 6 24 Six times eight, forty-eight. If I we'll add these values, see forty-eight plus thirty-two is eighty. Eighty plus twenty-four is one hundred four. So answer is two hundred eight centimeters square. Correct option is D. The slope of y-axis. Slope of y-axis is not defined. Correct option is B. See, if we we'll take a point on y-axis, take A and take one more point B. A will be like zero comma one. B you can take zero comma three. Point on y-axis. Now if I we'll find slope y two minus y one. By x two minus x one, so I will consider x one y one. This I will consider x two y two. So y two is three minus one by zero minus zero, two by zero, which is not defined. Next one, the base radius and height of a cylinder, cone, and hemisphere all are equal. Then their volumes. So here, base radius and height of cylinder. <coughs> cone and hemisphere say cylinder cone and hemisphere so all the heights are equal like So indirectly, what they are saying is, see, this is radius. So here, this is also radius. 
height is nothing but height is equal to radius they are telling in this question height is nothing but radius so volume of cylinder is pi r square h volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube now pi r square h i'll replace with r because the total hemisphere height is also same like 1 by 3 pi r square into h is r 2 by 3 pi r cube so this is pi r cube 1 by 3 pi r cube 2 by 3 pi r cube pi r cube pi r cube pi r cube cancel so 1 is 2 1 by 3 is 2 2 by 3 this 1 I can write as 3 by 3 1 by 3 is 2 2 by 3 if we'll cancel this 3 3 and 3 so answer is 3 is 2 1 is 2 2 correct option is C next question a bag contains four red balls red balls four blue three green two one ball is selected at random then the probability of getting not a blue ball not getting a blue ball probability of not blue see total if I'll add in total balls are like nine number of favorable outcomes by total outcomes total outcomes are nine they say not a blue so they don't want, they don't want blue so four plus two six so if we'll cancel it two by three correct option is d next question which of the following is a not a blue fine which of the following is a polynomial See, polynomial is an algebraic expression in which the power of the variable is a whole number. If you observe this, minus 1 is not a whole number. This is not a polynomial. See here, root x. Root x, if you write x power 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is not a whole number. And here, if you we'll take this x to the top, numerator, minus 1. So, it is not a whole number. Here, the power of the variable x power 1, it is a whole number. So, correct option is C.